All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, once again, I'm Hall. If you haven't been to my channel, I do a ton of uh, travel and product reviews. So if you're a first timer, welcome. If you're here, thanks for coming back. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for all the comments lately. I uh, really appreciate everything and everybody getting into the mix. Um, so in this video, I want to talk about a, not a bad, but kind of an annoyance with the Rivian R1T. And then I have some good news at the end of the video uh, pertaining to this particular annoyance. So we'll start with the bad news. Um, one thing about my vehicles, I am very particular. I like to keep them clean. I wash them often. I vacuum out the inside. And that kind of goes for, there's not a lot of knobs in here. So everything's screen related. So there's fingerprints all over my screen. And I just thought to myself today, like, hey, this weekend, I'm probably going to wash the truck how am I going to clean this screen? And I was looking through the, you know, the infotainment center as they call it. And I'm looking for like a lock button. I'm looking for something to lock the screen, to turn it down so I can wipe the whole thing down. So what's interesting is, I mean, I could, you know, as soon as you unlock it, like, you know, the, the call, the car's always kind of in sleep mode. Um, so as soon as you unlock it, like as, as I understand it right now, everything kind of lights up, the screen becomes alive and everything, you know, goes as normal. So I was looking all over the infotainment center. I could not find like a lock screen like you have on your oven when you have to clean the oven and you have to like, you know, brush over the front with all the buttons if you have a, like, a, you know, that kind of setup. And so I contacted Tyler, my Rivian guide, and I said, hey, man, I can't find anywhere to lock the screen so I can wipe this thing down. And he's like, that's a really interesting question. Let me look into this and get back to you. So, um, bad news, <laughs> there's no lock button for the infotainment center. So, uh, the solution they did gave me that they did give me is go to the, like the about your truck page. So if you're under like the little symbol on the bottom, that looks like the front of your truck, then you go on the left-hand side to the part that actually is a little graphic of a pickup truck. And then the right side of this screen, which I'll have up on the screen, has like all of your information about your vehicle. So if you go to this screen, there's minimal amount of touch points. Um, so they said, they recommended, and where is my, I don't know where my little wiper is. And it's in my pocket. So I just have like a sungra uh, sunglass, little, you know, wiper downer thing. So you can go on this screen and kind of, you know, get a little aggressive and then watch the bottom because obviously those. But if you put light pressure, as you can see on the screen right now, like I'm not, I'm not hitting a lot of buttons and it kind of works. So, oops, sorry, I hit the camera, um, but should help, you know, with some of that. So you want to get one of these or, you know, something that's similar to that for electronics. So bad news is there's no lock screen. You kind of, they told me, go to this screen, wipe it down the best you can. You're not going to hit a lot of things on this screen. You can certainly search through. I also looked at like the, uh, the user manual would probably be a good place to go as well. There's not a lot of, the left side is pretty heavy with buttons, but it's mostly like chapter or, you know, content, um, that you can look up in the owner's manual. So there's not a whole lot of buttons to interact with there. So, you know, if you don't go pressing hard or directly and you kind of swipe over, you should be good there. Uh, let's get to the good news. So the good news is I spoke to Tyler. He sent me back. I we were kind of communicating back and forth a text message and he said, great question. Um, there isn't one. This is my solution for right now. But he said he sent my request over to the UI department, which is the user interface department. And they are going to look into it and possibly come up with solutions. So one really cool thing about startups, about smaller companies is there's not as much red tape when you come up with ideas or your beta testing or, you know, all that stuff that goes into that whole realm. He sent that over to the team. So what I'm saying is if they come out with an update and there is a lock screen option, I may be the person who brought that solution. So, uh, you know, it may not be, there may be other people, but just know that I put in a little caveat to say, can we get a little lock button at the top, like that's on my oven that I can lock the screen so I can wipe it down because I know I'm super anal about looking at fingerprint smear marks all over my screen and it drives me crazy. So I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. If you are like me and you hate that look, 
please let me know in the comments so let me know I'm not alone in the world because sometimes I feel like I am with how particular I am about certain things. Anyway, head over to the uh, the, the specific about your vehicle. A um, lot less buttons to mash on that page or head over to the owner's manual, wipe it down, realize they may be working on a lock infotainment center button in the future that will allow us to hit something, lock the screen, and then be able to wipe it down, you know, with all kinds of fun stuff to make sure that we keep the fingerprints off. So real quick video today, just wanted to cover that because that came up today, in my back and forth with Tyler. Um, so it's really cool that you have the ability to really give feedback and they're open to it and they will pass it along. So um, I didn't feel like I was just getting brushed aside. Um, you know, they let Tyler let me know multiple times. He's like, it's a really great request. We'll send it through. So if we see a solution, I might do another quick video just to let everybody know we have a solution now, but I'll keep an eye out on the updates. And Tyler said he would also let me or keep me updated. So hopefully it helps. Hopefully we get something in the future. If not for now, the best thing is user manual or the specifics about the truck and wipe that screen down. Get those cheese doodle fingers off your screen. All right, we will catch you on the next video. See ya.